Hey y'all, it's me, Sean, UCM Pigs Moto Vlogs, and today we're going to talk about this product, S100. I've never used this, and we're going to give it a try today. But before we get started, let me remind you to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always on my channel, if you don't feel like typing words, just leave me an emoji. Let me know you were here. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, I purchased this. This was not sent to me. I bought this with my own money. It was actually on sale on Amazon. It's usually around $21. I think it was like 15% off, so right around $18. Bucks. Um, pretty big bottle. It's 33 ounces, so figured, you know what, why not give it a shot because, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm probably the world's worst at washing my motorcycle. I ride it every day. I wash it when I think about it. Most of the time, she gets a wipe down with some old bug slide, which I'm a huge fan of bug slide. I think it works great. Um, if I feel like I need to wash it, I just use the old bucket technique and some soap and take the bags off and give it a scrub down. And about once a year, I might go get some gunk degreaser from an auto parts store and spray down my engine and clean that up a little bit. But just recently doing some work, I noticed I do have some significant, you know, road grind buildup in some of the usual places around the oil kill cooler, the brakes, uh, the back wheel. And I said, you know, let's try one of these motorcycle products. Now, I am not naive enough to believe there is a miracle product that you can just spray on your bike and it magically cleans it. Nothing replaces elbow grease, but we're going to follow the instructions to the T on this product and see how it works. Now, I don't have high hopes. I do expect to probably have to go back and do some scrubbing, especially for bugs, because I even have to do that with bug slide. You have to apply a little elbow grease. Um, but I just want to see how well it does, especially on the crinkle paint on the engine, see if it brightens it up. And you know, like I said, you know, I think I can get several washes out of this, and we'll see how it works. Now, let's talk about this product a little bit. I've read the instructions. Like I said, we're going to follow it. Uh, to the T and basically one of the key things that S100 tells you is the bike needs to be cool so haven't ridden Noelle May at all today so I'm going to roll around the garage and we're going to spritz her down no pre-rinsing required uh, just spritz her down with this total bike wash all over the place pay a little more attention to some of the nooks and crannies and then we're going to take the highest pressure stream we can use I'm just going to use a garden hose I'm not going to break out a pressure washer and hit it with a really high pressure stream all over the bike um, until it squeaks when you run your fingers across it. If it's slippery, you want to do it again. Then once you've done that, just a mist, you know, like a shower final rinse and wipe it dry. So that's pretty much it. Some of the things it does say if it is a hot day and the bike is cool but it's very sunny and hot outside, you might want to just go ahead and spray the bike off first. But you know, it's 65 degrees here today. It is sunny. I don't think I need to do that. So we're going to follow it to the T and see how well this cleaner works. So let's get into it. Let's roll the bike out and see how this goes. All right, so now you can see the uh, crinkle paint. It's got like a white, you know, the typical when it gets dirty, dust and stuff's accumulated on it. Um, you can see a little bit of a, you know, just brake buildup and road grime. Just want to get a quick before. Some spots that look particularly dirty. A little bit of oil running off from your little oil spit front wheels are pretty pretty grimy and of course down here in this area is really nasty we got a lot of bugs on the lowers up here on the fairing got bugs all over it so we'll see how this stuff does there's no wait time you do not have to let it soak in it's pretty much spritz and rinse <music>
All right, so now it says you should be able to get a squeak when you rub your hands across it. Yeah, there's a squeak. Let's go over here and check the tank. Yep, squeaky. Squeaky clean. So, that was pretty simple. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to tell the difference with the bike wet. So I'm going to go ahead and get it dried off. I'm going to clean the bags in the meantime too, get the bags back on, get it dried off, and we'll see what the end result is. All right, y'all, so I've let the bike sit for a little while and it's pretty much dry now. So what I'm impressed with is a lot of the bugs are gone. There's a couple little spots, which I'll probably go over it with some bug slide because I got some streaking from when I wiped it down. But even down here on this lower, if you remember, there was a lot of bug splatter down here. Uh, that's all gone. Um, the engine has a nice look to it. The crinkle paint is nice and black and shiny so uh, that's good it dissolved the oil that was here um, again this is my chrome needs to be just polished up but the paint I mean looks pretty good I'm probably still gonna wipe it down with bug spot slide just because I like a more of a gloss shine um, this side of the engine over here um, I think there's a little bit of improvement it's still white um, I don't have anything coming off on my hands so I believe it got most of the grime out of there chrome looks chromey now the telltale is down here on this front wheel so what we can do because remember I did zero scrubbing and you get a lot of brake dust and stuff built up around here so we can just kind of rub our hands yeah there's still a little brake dust in there yeah there's still a little grime in there so like I said um, for heavy deposits, you probably still need to give it a quick scrub with a brush. Um, but all in all, I think it did a decent job. But we'll talk a little bit more about it in just a second. All right, y'all. So my final thoughts on S100 Total Bike Wash. Um, I used about half the bottle. Now, I was being liberal, so I probably have about one more wash. So 18 bucks. Um, does it do what it says it does does it clean as advertised i'm going to apply a myth busters answer here i'm going to say it's plausible uh nuella may wasn't that dirty but there was some buildup. um i did absolutely no scrubbing and as you saw you know it got the crinkle paint you know looking bright again but when i went and rubbed the front wheel you could see i still had some uh grime on my hand so it might require a little more a little scrubbing in heavily you know dirty areas with a lot of road grime like around your wheels your oil cooler and stuff like that but if you're looking for a quick easy way to wash your bike maybe winter months maybe you live in a part of the country that they salt slag your roads but you do get a nice day occasionally you want to go for a ride but then you don't want that mess stuck to your bike um, spritz it off spray it off even in cold weather you're not getting your hands in water it's a pretty quick rinse and you can feel pretty comfortable i think that it gets most of the grime off so if you see it on sale probably not a bad idea to pick up a bottle for situations like that quick washes and stuff but like i said i don't think anything can replace you know good old friction and that's the best way to get a lot of that deep end grime off your bike so i hope you guys found it informative i'm, I'm pleased with it i'm not mad um, i'm going to use the rest of it and if i find it on sale i'll probably order again so I hope you guys found it informative, and I hope you have a great rest of your week and an awesome weekend coming up. And until we talk again, you guys be careful. You guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up, and we'll talk to you next time.